It will be helpful to discuss a concept called the fusion of horizons, made famous by a man named Gadamer. A literal horizon is the limit of a person's perspective in relation to the fact that the Earth is a sphere. It isn't a real boundary, but is created by the person's position on the planet. If you want to expand your horizon, you must change your position. When you go higher, you see more. Let's say you wanted to get the maximum horizon possible. If you went out in space and got far enough away, you could see your maximum horizon. The problem is that even though you have reached your maximum horizon, you can still only see part of the total picture at one time. If you want to see the whole picture, then you have to get other people involved. Let's launch two more satellites. Now we have three overlapping horizons. The only way one person can get a picture of the whole is if she talks to the person in each of the other satellites and they fuse their pictures into one combined picture. This fusion of horizons is not reality itself, but is a socially constructed representation of reality that will help each individual gain a better, but not perfect, understanding of what lies beyond their own horizon. The only way this can work is if each individual trusts the other and allows herself to receive the other horizon and share her own. This constructed understanding will constantly shift and change as each individual orbits the earth and understands their own perspective in new ways. It is the relationship between each individual which creates the larger shared reality. Which comes first? The relationship or the individual? Exactly.